Welcome back guys. In today's tutorial, we're going to run the SDXL Base 0.9 in Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111. The process is very simple, just follow my video. But before we dive into the details, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell, so you never miss out on any of our future videos. We've got plenty of exciting content coming your way. This video is going to be fast-paced to save your precious time. If you're looking for more in-depth details about stable diffusion, feel free to check out my other tutorial on the subject. Alright, enough chit-chat. Let's start. All we need are these four files, which we can download from Hugging Face and GitHub website. I have placed the download link in the video description below. First, let's go to the GitHub website. Over here, click the drop-down arrow. Scroll down, and click the SDXL. Next, navigate to the Code section and download the zip file. Next, let's go to the Hugging Face website and download these three files. By the way, you need a Hugging Face account to be able to download the files. Just follow the instructions for creating an account. Now that we have all the files that we need, let's start running SDXL Base 0.9 with Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111. Heads up, guys! I encourage you to back up the folder or directory where you place the Automatic 1111. That way, in case the SDXL doesn't work, you can easily roll it back to its original setup. Ok, let's resume the installation. First, let's extract the zip file. I'm using WinRAR. Just right click and choose Extract here. Then open the folder and select all the contents and copy them. Next, open the folder or directory where you installed the Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111. Paste all the files and choose Replace the files in the destination. Now let's open the file named webuauser.bat. Just right click and choose Edit. Now let's add these commands. Xformers is a library that provides an optional method to accelerate image generation. This enhancement is exclusively available for NVIDIA GPUs, optimizing image generation and reducing VRAM usage. Low VRAM usage is recommended if you are using a low-memory graphics card. Alternatively, sometimes we use MedVRAM. We need to include the no half VAE command, otherwise, we won't be able to produce an image. Let's first test if the UI will run, and then we can proceed to copy the rest of the files. For now, SDXL Base 0.9 is not installed yet. Let's install it now and generate an image. Let's copy or cut all these three files and paste them into the folder where you placed all the checkpoint models in Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111. Now let's run it again. Now, when you look at the Stable Diffusion Checkpoint section, you will see that SDXL Base 0.9 is installed. Now let's try to generate image using SDXL Base 
Please note to set the SDVAE to none first, and then try running the automatic process. For some reason, I encountered an error when I set it to VAE pruned. Also, set the width and height to 768. I believe 768 is the minimum resolution required to produce a good image, but if you want to try it with a lower setting, feel free to experiment. There you have it folks. We have successfully generated an image using SDXL Base 0.9 within Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and share it with others. See you in my next video. Thank you for watching, bye and have a nice day.